in this 3ds max scene i've got footage loaded up but other than that there's really nothing else in the scene i've set the duration and the resolution to, to match the footage uh, so you can you know got an empty scene now if i go over into after effects what i can do is actually add a uh, track camera and i'm just going to run this i might pause the video to uh so you can see it going but it's a nice it's a quick solve so in a second here we'll have a finished camera now that we have a finished track you can see i've got all those points on these buildings and we've got a successful camera track well what i can option optionally do is select a couple of these points one or more and right click and say create text create solid and camera nulls and camera so what i want to do in this case is just get maybe one of these points off the building that i could i could easily snap something to uh... this one here for example let's right click and say create null and camera and this null right down here i'm going to just rename it um, you know uh, FG maybe just foreground and then I'll get one more uh, off this back to the 3d tracker and maybe just select one in this building right here and I'm just gonna create null and give that a name and I'll call it BG or background it's very simple so what I've got are these elements and what I want to do is send some of these things to 3ds max using media sync so what I can do is select the layers or the entities that I want to go over I don't have any lights but lights would also go over so a lot of different things would go over as you'll see in a second and we've got some options here first what I can do is say export the selection to the compositor link and by doing that you can see that these entities in After Effects now have this Autodesk link enabled and now what I can do is say uh, open up the compositor link and this is where you could create the file that goes back and forth so if I say create the link and I'm gonna call this tracked now what I can do is uh, just go over into 3ds max and if I uh, run the, the um, state sets and actually say create the link from tracked what I'm gonna get is a camera in my scene and a couple of nulls so let me just minimize this if I select everything in my scene and say show the trajectory for these you can see that one of those objects is in fact the camera so right here we've got our camera going ahead and it's got all of its keyframes and you can see it right there so now all I have to do is set this viewport to actually look through the camera and you can see that I've got those points and now what I've done is created those helper objects in After Effects that I might want to do uh, something I don't know placing objects on this I'm just using an auto grid to optionally sort of put this teapot on the building right there or visually and then I could do another one where I say um, you know let's put one back on that other building over there just kind of rotate into this place so now you can see that I've got a successful camera track and it's pixel accurate to the uh, different uh, entities in this scene what you might want to do then is render this out using different states but I just wanted to show in this video how to get information starting in After Effects uh, such as a camera track over into 3ds max using state sets